Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make our Meat Lovers loaded hot dog that got us a third place at Meat Stock Sydney. Now to get started, we're gonna get our favorite sausage on. I'm gonna be using a new product today. This is a bourbon barrel smoked steak shooter sausage from Costello Small Goods. Now these have already been smoked, so all we really need to do is heat them back through and we're gonna do that on our drum smoker. All right, so our drum's running at around that 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius range. We're just about ready to get this sausage on. We've also got some chopped salami and pepper pepperoni. I've just got that in a little saucepan with some butter. We're going to cook that along with our sausage in the drum smoker and I'm also going to make a simple little garlic butter. That's just a tablespoon of butter and around a teaspoon of our garlic goals. I've just got that in a little foil tray so let's get it all in our smoker. All right, so while all that's cooking away in our drum, we're gonna make a quick little salsa that we're gonna to top our hot dog with later on. And that's gonna consist of some lime juice, some white onions, some red tomato, a green jalapeno, and then we're gonna mix in some of our steak shooter. So we'll go ahead and make this salsa and then we'll put it in the fridge to use later on. All right, so we're also using a beautiful new knife from Chef Supply Co. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check them out. So we're gonna get started, put them aside, take the top off our jalapeno, We'll cut it in half, just got a teaspoon here, just going to take the seeds out. Then we'll finally dice it and put it in our bowl. I'm just going to put half in for now and we'll see if we need that other half later on. See how sharp this knife is, just glides through that tomato with ease. That's about three quarters of that tomato. And that's a bit over half of that white onion. And then we're just gonna squeeze in the juice of one whole lime. And we'll give it a little sprinkle of steak shooter and mix it around. All right, that's looking nice. So I'll put it in the fridge and we'll come back to this later on. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and we just wanna be stirring this salami and pepperoni every five or 10 minutes. Same with the garlic butter. That's actually ready to go now. We're just about to use that, so I'll show you what we'll do with it. All right, so we've just got our hot dog bun, and then you just want a small serrated knife, and we just want to basically cut out a rectangle around the top of this bun, just like so. Now these are dick buns, absolutely amazing product. The first, second, and third place hot dogs from Meat Stock Sydney were actually using dick buns. We just want to be pressing that top down just like so. And now what we can do is we'll get our garlic butter and we'll just give the inside of this hot dog bun a nice generous brush of that garlic butter. You want to really make sure we press that inside down. Then next we can get our favorite pizza sauce and just brush that on the inside as well. And then we've got some garlic aioli. Just gonna do the same thing again. And then next, you just wanna lay down your favorite grated cheese. We're gonna be using a Mexican style blend today. And now we're gonna put that in our drum smoker just to get that cheese melted a little bit. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Our cheese is melted beautiful in our bun. And if you're looking for an internal temperature of your sausage, just always be safe and take it to around that 165 Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius mark. That's not too far off being ready, so we'll come back to put the rest of this hot dog together. All right, so one last thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna slice up some of this leftover beef short rib. Now in our actual dish, we use some brisket, but if you've got some pulled pork or beef short rib or pulled lamb, whatever leftovers you've got, we're just gonna slice this up and we're gonna load our hot dog with this as well. I mean, look at that. That's just beautiful. All right, so our sausage is now ready, so we can go ahead and get everything out we need to finish this hot dog off. All right, so what I'm gonna do to make this hot dog a little bit straighter, is we're just gonna slice the ends off, and then we'll just make little slits the whole way up, slicing almost all the way through, and that way the hot dog will straighten out. And then we just wanna push that right into our hot dog bun, and then we can lay some of this beautiful beef short rib in the side. And then in the other side, we're gonna put our salami and pepperoni. And then we've got our secret sauce here. Now, if you want the recipe for this, you're gonna to have to go over to Chris's channel, The Smoker Baker Ice Cream Maker. I'll put a link down in the description, but seriously, this sauce is amazing. This is his recipe. So you'll have to go over to his channel to check it out. 
And then we'll top it off with our beautiful salsa. And there we have it. All right, and all that's left to do now is enjoy. That is seriously tasty stuff. Make sure you give that a go, make it your own, put your own favorite toppings on there. But for now, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.